The United Nations estimates that half of the hospital beds in developing countries are filled with people suffering from sanitation-related diseases. So far, diarrhea alone kills more children under five than a combination of deaths caused by HIV AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria. Yeah, this is uh, Zeblim Salamatu. Um, she was brought in here because of uh, typhoid fever and a complication of it leading to perforation of the small intestine. There were multiple holes on the intestines. We had to cut and join. We typically refer to that as typhoid perforation. It's an infection that is uh, associated with poor uh, sanitation and uh, poor drinking water. If hand washing practices are poor or if the environment as a whole is not well cleaned, the bacterium can be transmitted from person to person, either by hand contacts or uh, it can stick on flies who transmit it onto our food. Somewhere from January to March, we have a peak number of these cases coming in. And that is the time when we have the driest season in this part of the country. When that happens, the few uh, water uh, bodies that we have collected get dried up and those that are left undried are so dirty and uh, humans have to share it with uh, other livestock. Even in Gushegu Township where we rely on boreholes, the water table falls and then our water supply is no longer uh, adequate enough. So at that time hand washing, even bathing becomes issues and then we do see quite a number of these uh, cases coming to us. Ghana is in a sanitation crisis. Many suffer the consequences of the prevalence of poor sanitation conditions in most parts of Ghana. This situation is attributable to the inadequacy of public access to safe water, good sanitation and hygiene. About 10 million Ghanaians lack access to safe water. 86% of the people do not have access to basic toilets. Over 3,000 children under 5 years die annually from sanitation-related diseases, particularly diarrhea in Ghana. It's a crisis when we look at um, the fact that we have more children uh, under five dying from uh, diarrhea, uh, which is a sanitation-related uh, issue, you know, uh, poor sanitation and poor hygiene conditions. So it's a, it's, it's a crisis. If we lose one life because somebody doesn't have access to water, sanitation, and hygiene, as far as uh, we're concerned, it's a crisis situation. To improve the sanitation situations in communities, Water Aid Ghana a non-governmental organization is embarking on a sanitation and hygiene advocacy program to draw attention to the deplorable condition in eight communities from two districts, Ekriapim North in the eastern region and Gushegu in the northern region. The situation in these communities is a reflection of the wider sanitation crisis in Ghana. Sanitation for a long while has been a private affair. Ghanaians don't really want to talk about toilets. It has been very common to see political figures go and cut sword for water facilities, how many water points uh, they have established in this district compared to the other districts. But talks about how many households uh, a district has helped to get access to latrines have not been the best. Campaigning for sanitation reflects the current country's strategy and direction of water in Ghana. It is also a reflection of the poor sanitation situation in Ghana and what Water Aid and the partners can do to promote sanitation in Ghana. In this project, 
Water Aid Ghana, working with ACDEP New Energy, uh, seek to promote behavior change around sanitation and hygiene issues, to educate the communities to resolve by themselves, to minimize open defecation, to seek assistance, whether within their communities, by their kids and kin, or get assistance from the district assemblies like Aquapim Municipal Assembly or Wishabu District Assembly, or even embark on fan raising and get their kids and kin who reside in the big cities of Ghana and elsewhere to come and help them to construct latrines so that when they use their latrines, they can improve their health status. The purpose of this sanitation advocacy program is to bring about change so that at the national level, greater allocation of resources goes to the improvement of water, sanitation and hygiene services and facilities, and greater accountability and transparency from government to the people. The same commitment is expected at the district level. Nationally, sanitation coverage is very low. And so uh, it, it goes down to the, the local communities also. Most communities that we are working in, a lot of them do not have household latrines. Most of them uh, are using communal latrines and it's difficult to manage communal latrines. The, the perception is that building household latrines is expensive, but we've been able to uh, 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 get some communities to achieve 100% uh, coverage you know, through building their own latrines. And one example of such community is Ochikro. A bigger community like Latte, uh, it's not going to be easy, but we think once uh, government is able to get uh, his um, support for the community, the community themselves will be able to uh, know how they, they will resolve their problems. Near you see toilet in a shim wo to champ and pratinti attentin what it shim what it toilet no. Ah, se wusha, a be my yare pa. Say yen yam wakrana, say individual bit me a be o mufi, if ye fi mwa, and ka a bit me my hand and so and so abba for m or how na e de mwa ne yare e bano. Because you do be ya e the colour an it, your friends and yare be bad. Embri be in merry may be a chile won until what the force ne e just say Toilet and a canoe and a basso. Obi also now see a day. Uncle Hospital and them into a bacco toilet and a sa into the young Bacotto Sopen on Oceania. Yes, I mean, you come, Nipa Bay and me, sir. Ewa. The toilet and a high empire and the Yamwa. When you consider a latte, uh, one, they do not have a continuous supply of water. They, they don't have pipe on water, but they have streams which flows continuously throughout the year. And so uh, there is the need to have a complete engineering of the whole processes, combining water and sanitation, to be able to get them a system that will be sustainable and manageable. So your friend of Brunkumi, in Chroma time, 1958, and a Ah, you had a pipe, a tomb, I have a from Fi Kubase. I'm a surprise crew in a ten beer twenty four seven in Sui. A year you might say, Yenya, moi, a chico crew, a bit to me a boy, and now be a bit to make us a bit to me a surprise. A crap mina in communities like Tinkong and Kwamoso in the Kwapim North District of the eastern region of Ghana, 
the situation is dire. The lack of access to portable water and improved latrines compounded by an acute waste disposal problem is making life unbearable for most residents. Yeah, well, problem with Chrome has say, I find your toilet to home. May your bad time. Ah, you shen your mail cost on now. Toilet in your Chrome ha. It will be a who no be a toilet, see her, no be a toilet, see her, my area back on him. Once people do not have places of convenience, you know, they, they tend to move around and get things done. Uh, it's creating a whole uh, health hazard. We've, we've written letters to um, the council. They've done nothing about it. They said it's owned by the government, so unless the government authorizes them to come and collapse it down before they can do it, or unless we come and buy it, then we can collapse it. And it's worrying us so much here. When it's in the afternoon, we cannot eat. The scent coming out from that place is very hectic. And even you cannot eat outside because of the house fly coming from that place. And the kids too, because, of, because it is full, they don't get inside the, the toilet. They come outside to, 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 to comfort themselves outside. And it is affecting us so much here. Yen bole, e adibia a haye mpabri, e ma kromana e bola e ben wamunu, omu brepa, insiwa e tokrana e namni bebi, nu bola nabe si kwa eno, e insiwa a jinama, ntuntum, ni adie adobe bri, inti kroma fono wa e demonstration di abami ho, ama mi kase ikra anu, omu chuchwen biya de si kwa eno, sa omu ma assembly no enfa omu bola mbi guho. Mi as assembly man, ayiti se mini mejuma, inti mi sira abany se, abany chwa nini shwe kwa ntana infuwa. Kwa reni. Bola na se me hao ye. Ema ye mwanza. Eni ntun tum. Ema ye ma kura anu ube mwaka kura ana wei na ayese ni ye mshu ye. Wei esa ni ntun tum. Eni mwanza na wamu hao ye. Juge na ni hiyeno ye mimi. Nge yoko on. Anu ni unge wanyagba nge yoko on ni ye joke se chum. Chupa ni ya he ya se stil ye mimi wenge le kon. Na opi wa ye beli mwapi ye ha. Ema ya honti ye. Awo fi ema ya timi ma ye de. Eja. I have sent me so The situation is so alarming that even the community based health planning services CHIPS compound has not been spared. Clinic now with Kronimo. Yang saya mah ejumah yang ni ya deh mah ibu ibu cek saya, baru tu ya sini, ya boleh hari ini suah nusi ya say, inti yang saya jadi ni community members ni kau pray omo dia nong, insya allah kasih yang so ni panai aku ni mno, yang saya dia dia kau kau tu so, insya allah itu midi mubeh teriak wes, kau ansi nanya wambo, apa be ya ejumah hari nusi, amu bila hari nusi nana bangun ya si Malaysia ni ada, yang timi nusi ano kau ansi nanya mana dulu, apa ya pini dulu nama nusi orang kufir nong kau tu, insya allah ni nusi orang pah. The northern region equally faces severe sanitation problems. The situation in Wantugu, Zamashegu, Zantile, and Dandaboli are all very dire. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Any 
It is obvious that there is lack of real leadership committed to ensuring the delivery of water, sanitation and hygiene services and ongoing failure to recognize the fundamental importance of WASH to wider development and prioritizing WASH. It's not only the health sector, the education sector, the agriculture and livelihood sector that WASH has impact, but many other sectors including the energy sector, um, the environmental uh, areas where we also are making contributions. So we think that with our work we have been tilting the scales. We have been addressing some of the persistent inequality and poverty in Ghana by uh, helping to provide clean water, safe uh, sanitation and hygiene services. Without any initiatives to mobilize communities to take the needed action to construct basic household toilets and maintain public latrines, open defecation will continue. New energy a Water Aid Ghana implementing partner in the northern region is vigorously working with the people in these communities to reduce open defecation. New Energy is um, a local NGO that was established in 1995. Um, we started work uh, in community development. Currently, we have been in Bushego district for the past 16 or 17 years, and um, we've entered. Uh, over 200 communities in the provision of water and sanitation facilities in those communities. Uh, as part of provision the hardware like the latrines, the water facilities, we also do what we call um, the school health programs that is SHEP where we facilitate schools to form what we call the SHEP clubs and this sharp cloud, they are sensitized, their capacities are built in sanitation and hygiene promotion activities. Uh, most of the schools that we provided the hardware facilities like the school latrines, institutional latrines, water facilities like rain harvesting tanks, we expect that the school the children in particular are able to manage these facilities, sustain them, and then improve their hygiene practices in the school. For instance, we, we believe that when they are healthy in school, um, they can continue to sustain their learning. Their attendance will be improved, and their academic standards will also be improved. When the children come to school, they have to go to the borehole side, fetch water and uh, clean the toilet. And we have only two boreholes in this community. One is in town, one is a little bit outskirts. So what they do is that when they go to the town one, they have to queue because there is a pressure there. They have to queue and, uh, before they can get water. Sometimes we have to go and appeal to the the community members, the women there, so that they give them chance to fetch. And sometimes we can't just do otherwise. What we do is that they have to go that far away, fetch. And you know, with that, it is affecting our academic work because they normally exhaust classes hours, fetching for, uh, searching for water, and sort of be in the class learning. Water Aid is joining communities to demand for an increase in investment towards the improvement of sanitation. And we are also asking that these funds are judiciously used. They must be spent in a manner that is accountable and transparent. We are also requesting that the communities be involved in decision making concerning the use of the funds that are meant for improvement in sanitation. Imagine if attitudinal change also happened at the top.
and key duty bearers and district officials like DCEs, planning officers and budget officers prioritize sanitation in their budgets and spend the money as planned, addressing first the most marginalized. This will lead to the elimination of open defecation and improve hygiene practices. The result is healthier communities. Government must uh, do its role, bring the financing, um, bring the um, people with the right skills and capacity to address the issue. Systematically or gradually, every year we increase our funding to sanitation. At least 35% of my total budget, one way or the other, under education, under health, under sanitation itself, it is all directly or indirectly linked to sanitation. So as, an, as a municipal assembly, the Kraepelin North has increased its funding towards sanitation. We hope to do more. We hope to do more. And in doing so, we hope that the donors will also see what we are doing and also come and complement our efforts. Luckily, the picture is not all gloomy. The people of Ochi Chrome in the Kwiapim North District have resolved to ensure that their environment remains clean and healthy. With Ochi Chrome in particular, they have, uh, they have water problem. So because of that, ADEP with some international NGOs and with water aid came to their aid, gave them water facility, as you can see over there. And then we gave them a rain harvest tree, as you can see there. Apart from the water we gave to them, when we came to the community, in fact, their sanitation wasn't that best to talk about. So we did, I decided in particular to organize the women's group to educate them how they can keep the environment. They actually accepted it and they came together as a group. So because of what the Ali they have done, communities from the nearby communities have at least seen the good things that Abigail is doing. And actually what they are also doing, we are also promoting them to the various communities in the Fiapem North District to help promote sanitation in communities. So that is basically what Abigail Group in Wachukum are doing. Abigail. Amen. However, Water remains a challenge in this community, forcing community members to trek long distances in search of water. Your pipe will cry no, and so to there be a pipe no. Now say, I say ya, a hand on your bank so you ain't seen your friend a stand for. Eh, eh, what are you? Eh, Abdeb, any sikom, I do my my no, I buy it, but since I need here more than be a kahu, so I say so no, I so you ain't. And see and cry, effort tank we say no, and a rain harvest. It is soon to ya, ye in your be. And I will not so cacrabia, not say. In Tianca, a mobile two be come home, my ya, a bad boy, Emma, a yanya, a sa, a hot tear, and a sign in the dear no so, yanya. And if you say, ye are money direct in inti, and mark me our herno, and sucro no cry. Will you believe you said, thirty minutes now in ya, thirty four bark? It is the whole day no. Household, we are no obedient to me, and ya in Sionum. It is uncommon to be come home, my air, and as on by air, my canals, and so we will know a can home, my air, and come face a bit my boy. Achieving a cleaner and healthier environment requires concerted efforts from all. It will take the commitment of central government to increase more funds towards the wash sector, especially for sanitation and hygiene promotion. It will take district assemblies to be deliberate in increasing allocations and expenditure on sanitation and hygiene promotion. It is important that district assemblies facilitate the active participation of communities in defining and implementing development goals. What we are experiencing today is that with concerted effort from all partners, um, NGOs, um, the district assembly, um, the other government agencies. In fact, um, we are trying as much as possible, even though there are a lot of challenges in the community. But at the moment, we, for, for us in New Energy, we are seeing a lot of changes in the community. And we think this, this effort should be continued and be supported not just by, only by water aid, but from other donors. Uh, so that at the end we can 
make a very big impact in this our communities. We are expecting that the duty bearers, that's the Kwapimno Municipal Assembly, will provide their part of the commitment in the partnership arrangement. Yeah, I want to assure the people of uh, the districts, uh, the Wishigo district, and particularly the uh, four communities that we have just visited, that uh, in the near future, that is within the next three years span, the sanitation situation will be improved. That is why they have people, able bodies like the New Energy, Water Aid, and then Integrate coming into those communities to do this advocacy for us to solve the problem. And so, uh, with what we are going to uh, gather, at least uh, whatever we have seen, we'll make sure that uh, it is tackled within the next few days. Water Aid remains committed to ensuring that every community gets access to portable water and dignified sanitation. We hear stories direct from communities about how having access to water, sanitation and hygiene transform their lives, transform their communities. People are able to engage in um, economic productive activities. Um, they are able to take care of this basic need which allows them to think about other higher level you know, needs and aspirations that they may have in life. Their health, they're healthier. Um, the environments are cleaner, um, you know, so these are some of the benefits. If Ghana is to reach its developmental goals, then such deplorable sanitation conditions must become a thing of the past. Right now, the um, budget for, for WASH is about 90% uh, or so funded by external uh, donors. Uh, the government's portion itself is not what it needs to be and it's, it's not what has been promised. At the third high-level meeting on water and sanitation for all held in Washington in the United States of America, the government of Ghana pledged to invest $120 million per annum in the water subsector and cover 1.14 million users annually to invest $50 million to sanitation and hygiene subsectors to accelerate sanitation delivery, to commit an additional $20 million US dollars seed money to the Strategic Environmental Sanitation Investment Plan, CESIP, and work with the private sector, youth, sanitation entrepreneurs to accelerate household sanitation delivery in the next two years. Also, the National Sanitation Policy 2010 there are a series of well-intended you know, statements in those policies. Communities will be asking questions. How far has government implemented you know, those commitments? So overall, this program is intended to build the capacity of communities to engage, to have decent sanitation facilities, and also call government to action to ensure that they implement their own policies and commitments. Reliable access to portable water is necessary for improved sanitation and hygiene practices. And this is Water Aid Ghana's call to ensure that all have access to basic toilets and all practice good hygiene. This means giving marginalized communities an opportunity to live more dignified lives. Water is life. Sanitation is dignity. Hygiene improves health.